Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm having a crazy, crazy week. Crazy with things, crazy with my art world, crazy with, because mm, I'm launching my course this week. And I'm doing two live uh, tulip painting workshops, which I did one on Monday. And I have, good morning. Hi, Gail. Hi, Ellen. Knit Napper. I love that name. Hi, Rosemary. Designs for Living. GA. Um, good morning, Ellen. Um, hi, Caroline. Yeah, so hi, Ellen. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little like, <laughs> I feel like my, my mind's going in a million directions. Hi, Mary. So I've um, just, work's been busy and uh, launching the course has been busy. And if you guys, if you're interested in taking um, uh, Art and Bloom with me, um, just let me know. Just send me a message. I'll send you information. It's my online six-week oil painting course. You can do it over the course of two or two years or longer probably, but um, I release a different module every week for six weeks and it's so much fun. And you're going to paint the tulip with me today. Good. Yes. Yeah, so I came to get ready this morning and I was a little behind. I was supposed to take my car in for service, but I still haven't even done that yet because I just was working on work work. And um, so Izzy's going to have to help me with that later, but so when I came down to get ready, hi Sheila. When I came down to get ready, I have the my colors out for for um, the tulip, and I'm gonna do something different today. I just keep feeling a little angsty of like I feel like I need to switch things up. Yesterday I did um, an acrylic painting, and I really enjoyed it. And I've got this great big canvas behind me that needs to be filled. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. One day I'll just have an idea and I'll dive in. But I keep not quite having enough time to dedicate to doing something that large. And I just got a really fun commission to do nine six by nine florals, which I'm super excited about. So I have all those panels to get ready and um, with my course and with my demos, but it's all good, right? It's all good. So let me turn this around. I'm gonna try something. Well, it's not really that different, but it's a little different for me. I'm trying to find something different to do. So I'm gonna paint a hummingbird. I don't think I've ever painted one. The um, gentleman that lives here in my town, Marvin Stauffer, took this photo, and he always lets me use his images. I would love to paint more birds. I just don't. Joining you tonight. Oh, good, Anita. Yay. I'm glad you'll be joining me. Yes, and if anyone wants to join me for the, the tulip demo, that's tonight at 7. Um, just let me know. I can give you the sign-up information for it. It's just $27. I was doing it kind of as a little... Thing to so people could get a feel for my painting style to see if they'd like to take art in bloom and oh I don't have my my things up here oh good everybody loves hummingbirds wonderful I don't, I don't think I've ever painted a hummingbird I'll get my pigment sticks out so yeah the tulip painting workshop is the way that it's different from how I do these in the morning is that I actually demo it like I show a stage and then let everybody catch up and do another one so that people paint along with me. When I'm doing this in the morning, I only have an hour, so I just keep going, you know. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't, see, I'm way behind today. I didn't mark off my, my paper, so I have to do that. You can watch. I have to do my pencil marks on here. I didn't, I didn't do that. And I could probably live without it, but I won't feel confident, so. Yeah, it's just one of those weeks. And then my... Dear friend and neighbor had a little accident yesterday, so I ended up taking her to urgent care in the day. I just feel like the planets are a little wonky right now or something. And it's not full moon. I actually looked it up because it certainly feels like it. it. Certainly feels like it. I did yoga last night and that calmed me down a little bit. Always does. Wish I could find room for that every day. Do any of you guys do yoga? I've really done it for a long, long time, many years. It's my favorite way to relax. And good morning, Emily. How are you? And 
Now I have to go pick up plants for Emily from my friend Connie. Emily's wanting some ferns for her yard. Emily's my daughter. She was buying some ferns, and my friend Connie has some beautiful ferns, and so I'm going to go get some from her today. And I have to ship paintings. I have a whole bunch of paintings to ship out today. I'm excited about that. I have one going, I think, to Australia. I love knowing that my artwork's, like, peppered all over the world. That is just the, the absolute coolest, coolest thing. I would have never guessed that that would be a thing that I would do in my lifetime. I love it. And that I have friends all over the world. That's even better. Okay, here we go. So, one thing about um, painting something like this that's a little more challenging, we'll see how I do, is that, like, because his wings are moving, they're... they're blurry so I need to keep that I don't want to have any hard edges in that area I want to keep that soft you guys can see okay so and I always feel like this I always feel frazzled like in the beginning of the day look how pretty that is aren't those colors wonderful um but then once I start painting everything calms down how would you like to know if you email regarding a collaboration with you I don't know. I can't remember. A world renowned. I don't know about that, but thanks, Anita. Now, I think I need a little bit of, um, I, want, I want a little bit. So I have my limited palette on here. I want a little bit of this red, this transparent red on my palette. So it's a very, it's kind of a different palette that I'm used to because I was doing the Tulip Workshop and I didn't want people to have to buy a lot of supplies. I tried to limit it so that there weren't as many colors. And that's what I have on my palette. And since I'm going to use it again tonight, I don't want to waste that paint. I always try to be careful not to waste so much of my magenta out. Oops, I'm sorry. What would you say? A deep Ellen, I did that meditation last night, 2 o'clock in the morning. Thank you for sending it. I had trouble sleeping at night, and Ellen sent me a, a meditation to try. And it did help. I think I slept through the meditation, then I woke up when, when it was over. And that terrible? Oh, such time sleeping. Sometimes I don't even know why I try. See, his head's really up here to get my bearings of what I'm doing here. I think the red goes, no, this goes like that. That's about right. This is very dark, and it goes about halfway. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning, Jane. Oh. What red brand? Oh, that I just showed you. It is, um, it's called Rembrandt. It's transparent red. So it makes more of a true red. The reds I usually have on my palette that are my favorites are, are magenta and permanent rose. But sometimes I, you know, need a more of a true red. Oops. I'm sorry. This starts about here, it goes here. Welcome, Jane. Don't you feel pressure when all eyes are on you while you paint? You know, I don't. I don't. I think it's that zone. I always wonder about that because you would think that it would feel like pressure. I, I feel it before I paint. Like sometimes, like when I did my live on Monday, I felt nervous because I think I'd never... Um, it's hard for me to slow down. I guess that's really what I'm saying. It's hard for me to 
be in the moment and slow down and not rush through something. So I knew I was going to have to do that. So it made me a little bit nervous to do that. But then once I start painting, I like, do you guys know what I mean? Like I forget sense of time. So when I'm doing this with you guys, I'm like kind of in a zone where I'm not uh, thinking very much. Or I am thinking, but I don't know. It's hard to explain. Uh, but I'm not nervous now. The eyes are all on me. Because I know you're, I mean, and I feel like I know all of you so much that, like, if I mess up, you're not going to care anyway. <laughs> I'm hoping that, right? Because not all paintings turn out. It already looks kind of fun, doesn't it? I guess this is his little foot down there. A little shadow under his wings. What color? I'll do the green background. I like the green background. I think I'm going to use... Yeah, I don't have this color out either. I'm going to use this for, for my underneath of my green. Unless, or maybe... <laughs> thank you, Ellen. Or maybe I should do sap green. I'll do a little bit of both. You dip your brush in the zest it. Yes. Yep, Jane, I do. I dip my brush in the zest it. I have it right here in front of me. Yeah, so if you if any of you are thinking about doing my course, you can ask questions like some of the people that are probably in here watching me have taken it. It really is beautiful. It's you learn a lot. It was certainly a labor of love. So I released it once in the last fall, and then this is the second time that I am releasing it. Whoops. Thank you, Cheryl. Try to keep it loose at this stage. Loose and fun. Oh, we have a little. Boy, I feel like it's dark today. Let me see if this helps. I never can have enough light. Ever, ever, ever. Love light. I love sunshine and light. I guess who doesn't? Most people do. So, where's everybody tuning in from today? I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Learn so much and continue. Oh, good. Oh, good, Gail. I'm glad. Oh, you, do you love hummingbirds too? Oh, that's so fun. I'm waiting for making artwork. Love to take it. Oh, good, Kathy. Do you limit the number of participants in your class? No, I don't. I have not needed to. Nope, I haven't ha been in any um, situations where I've had too many people in my class. That'd be a nice problem to have, I guess, but it has not happened. <clears throat> Putting some colors in here just for fun. Oh, Massachusetts. Oh, Bonnie. Oh, good. You're doing it pastel. That's fun. That's one thing I don't. I don't have is um, pastels. Like I don't, I must not have even worked in pastels in college because I have a lot of, still have my college supplies and I still often pull them out and use them. But I don't have pastels. That sure does sound fun. I would love that set of, you know, all those colors. They're so gorgeous. Someday I'll have time to do pastels. Maybe even with my uh, Inspiring Art Collective because we, experiment with different kinds of things in that, which is really fun. Reading PA. Oh, you are, Anita. Where are you going for lunch? Some more fun. As a beginner, the step-by-step -step on just how to get started was worth the class. Oh, good. Ottawa, Canada. Jane is... All right, I think that's a good start. 
It's kind of a messy look, but I like it. It feels like it has some motion. Like I need to think a little bit about trying. Oh, to Carabas, that's fun. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's good. All right, so let's, there's a lot of colors in here. Reds, greens, kind of browns. I might need to put another brown out in my palette. Toronto, Canada, Jane. All right, laying down here. Why it feels so dark? I'm gonna move this over. Um, get my palette knife and what did I want it to brown? Oops. Oh, and I, well, I know I'm good with that. I might need this. Oops. I need to just put all my pinks together. This, so I keep all my, whoops, you can't even see where I'm digging. I keep all of my like reds, my greens and yellows here and these are like my mixer colors like blacks and browns and whites and then over here are my reds and oranges and purples they're fun little i love putting them in these compotes because it gives me room underneath how <laughs> do you like carabas mary eileen hmm. did you go to carabas when you were here in lancaster no because we went out to dinner Right? We went to um, Harvest. So these um, friends were, took an in-person class with me that are talking here, Mary Eileen. And looks like you just got some new Vasari. Love their paints. Yes. Yes, yes. I do too. I did. It's not really new. I think I bought several of the, of these. And, you know, I'm not very good at using up the old tube before I start a new one, which is really bad. Because, see, here, right here is another one. I need to have more than one of the things I use a lot because I can never find things. Are you there every night almost? Really? Oh, that sounds fun. I'd certainly join you. Oh, so I was saying they, they came and did um, an in-person workshop with me here in Lancaster. And it was so much fun. I want to do that again, hopefully soon. I am going to do the one in Connecticut in the fall, and then I think after that, hopefully life will be better. I got my first COVID shot on Sunday. So I'm on my way. I want to go in a couple weeks. Oh, any plans? Ellen said, um, I haven't planned one yet. I'm a little worried, Ellen, like... My space is tiny that I have here that would be the easiest place, the most convenient place to do it. So I don't know if it's too, like, I don't know. Like, I'm afraid I'd have to do that whole thing of taking temperatures. Like, the whole thing overwhelms me. Make, making the workshop is a lot. And then to have to think about all that, I'm not sure I'm ready for it. Although, I don't know. I guess, I guess it wouldn't be a bad plan to just do one a small one that I did before like with six people and um, I don't know Maybe, do you think it would be doable if it was six people and right now while everyone has their shots before we have any other issues coming around which I hope we won't maybe I could squeeze one in because I miss that I miss doing the workshops Need, need to think about my greens here. I need some sap green in there. It's not true green enough, I don't think. I'm going to get kind of that light. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in here. If you guys would come, you feel like COVID's safe enough that we could do it? Gosh, I love it. I need to gather and paint on the beach somewhere. Oh, well, Judy Brock always wants us to come to her house in Topsail, North Carolina. She's offered many times to do a workshop there. That could happen. That would be very fun. Mary Eileen said yes. Make vaccine man. Oh, well, that's true, Ellen. Yeah. Yeah, 
I think that's going to be that you need that to even travel anywhere. So I, I, it was interesting. I had my, my friend, um, got hurt, um, walking dogs yesterday, my neighbor, and I had to run and pick her up and take her to urgent care. She, um, fractured her, her collarbone, um, which is totally no fun. And I was sitting at the urgent care for a while because her husband was uh, away and at a meeting and then he went and got his COVID shot and then he came and relieved me so I could come home and get back to work. And it was, it was interesting. There were many, I would say many people that came um, and their protocol was that you had to pull up at the side of the building if you had COVID symptoms and then they came out to the car like to do whatever they needed to do to test you. But I was surprised how many people did that. So I was kind of feeling like we're out of that, but it's not over. Just seeing how many people it are, and you know, they were kind of very strict about things in there. Okay, so browns, greens, a little bit of red. I think we mix a brighter kind of green for the background. We'll put this in there. First shot on Saturday. Good, Cheryl. Yes, I'm ready for life to be normal. The gorgeous pure red on your palette. This gorgeous. No, that's a different red. So I always, this is in like my stash of things for when I need a red red. And that is a Vasari color. It's called Permanent Bright Red. And when I need a true red for something, this is what I, I pull out. So I have my basic colors that I use, but then I have my favorites of other things. Where's my resource photo? It is from a gentleman in my town named Marvin Stauffer. Wonderful man. He is a bird aficionado and a wonderful photographer. He has an amazing camera, and he lets me use the images that he takes. I would love to have more um, wonderful photos to paint from yellow and green. Oh, thank you. All right, 8.23. I always like to look at the time to make sure I'm not gonna go over. And I need a tiny brush because we have an eye to do. Sometimes I start pretty close to the beginning with the eye because I need to feel confident with that. So maybe that's what I'll do, but I'm gonna have to get in a little close. So let me pull that up a little closer. Oh, I am? Oh, Corin. Corin, I have to write that down. I think I knew that. And if I'm welcome to use them, I would love to. I'd certainly give you credit. Although I do have trouble sometimes. I complain a little bit. I have trouble remembering everything. Like Coral Hutchinson images. I, um, I have trouble that like if I do something, I think, oh, I need to credit this person or do this thing. I can't find where things are. Like even today, someone sent me a message about the Art and Bloom course. And I started to respond, but I wanted to go grab some information. When I come back, I can't find where the message is and I don't know. Oh, Laura, it is an app called Hashtag Grid. I think that's what it's called. I always forget. Um, it's, it's an app that... Um, puts you can put a grid on your photo but if I ever do something like that it's never intentional it's like I can't find all the things that when people write to me I lose them all the time because I get messages in probably six different Facebook groups as well as in my, I have probably four different emails which is crazy ideas to my dms or in notes yeah, I do that too, but I have too many notes. I I have organized my notes better though, I must say. I've been better with my notes. But oh my gosh. I just can't remember everything. I wish my mind would hold on to things better. Dark, dark in there. Yes, I'm doing, in our um, inspiring art collective group this week. 
I'm painting a, a blue poppy that someone in our group took the photo of, and it is so pretty. I cannot wait to do it. I keep waking up in the morning wanting to paint that. Like, you know, you have a thing, like you keep thinking, oh, I want to work on that. I'm waiting for my little hummingbird to arrive. They've been gone since September. Oh, good. So is it about time for the hummingbirds to come back? Just started drinking wild blueberry juice. Oh, maybe that's what I need. That might be my hope. Wild blueberry juice, that's fun. I do eat blueberries in my granola every morning. So I have, I've been playing, you know, you know, I love, been loving this texture of this paper. And I got two paintings framed, but now I need to do a couple where I mount them onto panels. Um, so that's next up, because I need to add it to my my uh, guide, my uh, painting guide. Just one of the things on my list. do his his nose his um beak later i guess it's a beak right his head's a little flat there oh i was just playing with the cold wax i didn't it I didn't, um, let's just say it was just a weird attempt. I had a landscape painting that I didn't really like, so I just played with putting cold wax over the top of it. But no, I don't know. I just can't quite find the time to do it. Do Yeah, Rosemary, I put a couple coats of gesso on it before I, um, it's almost like that phase of like, gessoing my board or like when I do the panels um, putting that uh, gold paint on the side it's it's almost like a meditative part of the process to me like I love doing that because I it's like mindless painting we just need a little bit where it's not so much thinking isn't that crazy Definitely the messy middle, right? I need a sip of my... What's everybody having? Coffee or tea today? I think I got up too early. My coffee's already um, not hot. Um... Coffee. Oh, with protein shake. Whoops, I'm sorry I bumped into you. Yeah, yesterday I sort of didn't eat very much. I didn't quite fit it in. I'm going to do that again today. Earl Grey tea. Weird. Functional coffee. What is that? What's functional green tea latte? Sounds delicious. Me too, Earl Grey. Hmm. I've been drinking the tea that someone in here had suggested to me for because I'm always clearing my throat. And I drink that now almost every day. And it has a little like licorice flavor, and I don't like licorice at all, but I do like the tea. I've gotten used to it. I actually drink it for a while, and then when it starts to kind of, um, I don't know what it does, it gets like tepid. Then I put ice in it, keep drinking it kind of like iced tea. I think it has helped my throat a little bit. It's like throat coat, it's called. Bob 
functional coffee has mushroom powder. Can't taste the mushrooms. And what did the mushroom? What does the mushroom powder do? Love that mushrooms have more purpose. That's fun. Keep that a little lighter there. <clears throat> oh, okay, I've answered everything, right? Sorry, I was thinking. Anybody have fun plans today besides Anita going to Carabas? I'm thinking, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop talking. <clears throat> dark up here that feels a little too dominant, doesn't it? Hmm. Thinking. Several benefits from different types of mushrooms. Mine's made from, oh, I don't know anything about mushrooms. I'll have to research it. <gasps> you got a new Peloton bike. Oh, lucky you, Bonnie. We borrowed um, our friend's Peloton bike at the beginning of COVID, and then and then we he needed it back because he couldn't go to the gym anymore. But I loved it. I would love to get one of those. Now that it's spring, we often like our neighborhood all goes. We do the rail trail bike ride, and I love doing that. It's like one of my favorite spring things to do. Going to make some jelly. Oh, I want to learn about jelly prints too. You'll have to show me what you make. I always find them fascinating, but I've never done it. It does look fun. the softness of those. I feel like my happy birthday season. Mary Eileen, when's your birthday? Birthday season. That's fun. It's my family, I guess, birthday season too, now that I think about it, because my, my oldest was born on the 20th of April, and then my daughter Emily was born on the 26th of April. So it's our family's birthday season. Maybe if I just lighten down here a little bit, that'll help it. I feel like the, and I like to leave those brush strokes showing in the background. For a little more of the green. Maybe the green needs to come up here a little bit. April 10th. Oh, happy birthday, Mary Eileen. Lidditz and Ephrata. Um, Ellen, I think my, my husband did. I did not do the one between Lidditz and Ephrata. I need to try that. We usually do the one that's from Columbia to Bainbridge because we go to Bainbridge and stop at that little Bainbridge Inn and have a beer. Yes, Emily, birthday season. And then we um, go to um, Marietta and have lunch. It's kind of a tradition of the bike ride that it's hard to go without the places to stop for a beer or lunch. Um, 
I'm celebrating you, Emily. I celebrate you every day. Every day. I'm the luckiest mom. Do you find that blue distracting or do you like that in there? Kind of on the fence about it. What time is it? 36 hours? So good on time. If I'm asking the question, that means I need to soften it a little bit. Right? That's what I would think. I'm thinking about it. I should fix it. Or adjust it. I guess it's not really fixing it. It's a little lighter right now. whitish color. Yeah, do they look transparent? Good. Maybe this line's a little wonky, though. I can't get around the my phone very well. Oops. Sorry. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, and what do you want for your birthday? I probably could guess. Oh, I'm gonna do that edge a little bit. I feel like my brush is getting a little dirty. <clears throat> Throw my paper towel away. <clears throat> Oh, my brush that I'm using, this is a Rosemary and Company Short Flat Eclipse, and it's a number eight. I usually start with a larger one, and then I make my way to the... Hmm. I feel like I need that fun kind of green, but that's probably too dark. No, I don't. I like that. No, that's nice. I think that's good. <clears throat> A little white tufts back here. I got too much on my brush. Anything else you think I need? Um, just a little bit of blue in there. This looks a little rough. I'll put a dot of that white. I see a little white by his eye back there. I'm not sure what it is, but. 
I think I need a new one. My brush is like, like not pointy anymore. I need a new one. And there's a little. Wait, right there. Good morning, Kim. Where do you purchase your arches oil paper? I, um, Terry, I get it from Jerry's Artorama. I'm sure you can get it from Dick Blick too. And I get the sheets. Um, I get big sheets. I've had both sizes of the larger sheets and depending on what they're for, like I actually have them both sizes here because sometimes I need a bigger sheet to cut down for things and sometimes little. paper towels <laughs> oh Mary Eileen it is um, two, 230 let me know if you want it you certainly can have it and that includes shipping I need a little more brown What do you think? I feel like that might need just a little bit more like red in it down in here. I don't think it needs a little red. Um, I think I'm almost finished. Maybe that this red's a little too dominant in here. Let's pull that color into it a little bit and add a little texture. Kind of just blending it in there so that it's not feeling like it's just pasted on top. Sometimes when you put one color and it's more dominant than the others, it needs to be um, like integrate. I don't know what the word is that I need like integrated into it. Greens. I think I might be finished. Do you see anything else I need to do? Thank you, Sheila. Mary Eileen, it is um, six by eight. This is my favorite size. I do want to do larger paintings, but these are just so, I don't know, I guess I'm just comfortable with this size. Oh, I'm glad I'm inspiring you. Love that. Should I do the reveal? Yep. Oh, the tape I use, it is, it's just called, I think, artist tape. I get it. Oops, that's not one. Let me see. I probably have one. I, I keep them behind my thing here. Nope, that's not one. I have all kinds of tape behind here. Remove that. Ever so. Oh, here's one that's in the thing. Oh, good. Thank you, Jane. No, gosh, I'm not finding it. It's called artist tape. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Um... I think it's just called artist artist tape inner tape polymer group i get it from um i think i get it from jerry's should i do the reveal let me sign it what, what it was 45. i'll sign right here on this side and then i'll do the reveal i love doing the reveal it's so fun I could bump you though while I'm doing it. I apologize. I 
I love that how deckly the edge looks. I love that. So in the one that one of the ones that I framed that I was playing with, I framed it with um, like an eighth of an inch, so you could see the deck ledge, and then it's on a raised piece. It looks really pretty. I got my nails done. Izzy and I ran and did our nails yesterday. That was another crazy thing that I did in the middle of the day because I promised her because she keeps filming me that she could get her nails done. So yeah, I very rarely have nice nails. But it was a fun treat. And so there's my reference. There's the painting. And, and my palette. I'll turn this around. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Um, tell your friends about Art and Bloom if you know of anyone that you think might enjoy it. Because um, I'm excited to launch it again. And if you um, need to know anything about that, or if you want to do the tulip thing this afternoon, or this, it's this evening at 7, um, just send me a message. I'll give you information. So thanks for coming, guys. As always, it was very fun. And I will talk to you soon next week. Bye. Thank you. Do Where's my end? <laughs>